What is going on everyone? It is Mark here with another video and today we are taking a look at the new OS by Apple Mojave. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of videos on this topic so far, but let me share you my opinion, my strengths with this OS, my weaknesses so far, and the differences that I've kind of noticed in using it for the past little bit. A lot of people have started off this kind of segment with dark mode. Um, it's cool. But we'll get to that in just a second. I'm actually going to start with Stacks. Stacks to me is one of the coolest things that it does. Um, Stacks, if you're not familiar with it, is for people who don't use folders. So if you are that kind of person, start using folders so Apple doesn't have to develop Stacks. Stacks basically takes your, your messy desktop, you set it up, and it puts everything into nice little categories that are easy for you to find. For example, you want to find music, get a whole bunch of music, you hit stacks, you'll have a little folder there called music or photos or documents. It's a really cool feature just to really kind of quickly um, declutter your desktop. Maybe we'll be able to use this as, as a legitimate organizational tool because you can, you can set them up with tags. That's stacks. Stacks is a positive with this OS. Uh, next thing, previewer. So you know how on the old OS you would hit space and a preview of your file would pop up? Um, this takes it to the next level. So if you were to open up a file using space, it would typically just pop up. You now have multiple things that you can do with this Windows, such as rotate the image or sharing it. And the biggest thing that they've done now is kind of allowed you to annotate and draw on it directly from, from the previewer. So that's what they kind of done to the previewer. It's the, it's the previewer we are used to just on steroids. So another cool thing that I thought that they implemented was that the system updates actually happen in the settings kind of menu. It's not through the app store. If you go into system preferences, software updates, you kind of have this new interface where it keeps your OS nice and updated. It, it's a quick one, but, but it's a good one. So the next thing that they added or kind of upgraded is your dock. So if you take a look at the bottom of your dock on the right hand side, you're gonna see three applications that are not what's pinned on your bar. Those are the three most recent applications that you have used that are not pinned. So for example, I haven't pinned settings, I just showed you settings. I'm using notes, but I don't pin notes. And same as my app store. So that's kind of something that, that allows us to have more things on our dock without having them on the dock. Quicker access means, you know, quicker efficiency and a better overall experience on the device. And when we take a look at the App Store, what's kind of cool is they took the iTunes and the iOS App Store and kind of merged them into creating this one. I think it looks really, really good. I think it's very efficient, which was very needed. The Mac App Store really needed a facelift. Now we can get kind of into the more direct changes, the things that you're gonna pop out at you the most. Um, dark mode, let's talk about it. So what they finally did, uh, I, th I think they should have done this a long time ago, was give you an option between a light interface and a dark interface. Yeah, in the past you, you were able to kind of darken a few tones and aspects of, of your device, but this is kind of all around. All the native applications support this dark menu. Uh, it looks really good. All of them kind of just darkens everything out. The text pops at you. I think it looks really good, but it's not a big change. It's, it literally just changed the menu bars and everything to, to darker colors. Uh, not that big of a deal. Everyone's in love with this thing. Yeah, it looks good, 100%. It's nothing to go crazy about. I mean, I am using it because I like it better than the light, but it's just a little bit darker. But but it is good that they finally did it. Um, another cool thing is the dynamic display. Uh, this is where your display changes with time, where whatever time it is, wherever you are, your display is a little bit different. Um, this is really cool. The only desktop that, that does do this is the default one that comes with Mojave. Um, it's a nice wallpaper and I'm, and, I, and I'm using it just to kind of go over the dynamic desktop, uh, how it works, what it feels like, and, and how it actually affects my use of the computer because it does change. So in the morning it'll be nice and bright, in the evening it'll dim down. Does it change the brightness of your display? No, 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 nothing like that. It's just, it just tells you at what point of the day you are in. It's a pretty cool, neat little feature. Feature. I'm excited to see what it actually does when you have more than just the, the default desktop of, of Mojave. Uh, maybe you can do customizations, maybe you're gonna have different environments. I, I'm excited to see what that brings. My last few points here are they brought in a few apps from iOS or, or that's what it feels like. So they brought in stocks, news, home and voice memo and if you use the apps on your phone you know how well they work and how easy they are to kind of interact with. 
Well, they kind of, they literally copy pasted the same language, coding language, same everything, and kind of slapped it into your computer and it works just the same. Voice memo, very familiar. Stocks, still one of my favorite stock applications. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy, just what you need and, and it's a great, great app. News, awesome. And now it's gonna start connecting to your smart home devices. So another device connecting to your home smart devices, awesome, awesome stuff. Anyway, so that's kind of a quick look at my opinion on Mojave, the new OS by Apple. Huge fan of it. I'm excited to see what it actually looks like once it leaves a beta 2. Uh, this is the developer kind of end of everything. So, so they are making tweaks and changes and cleaning everything up. Um, so far my experience has been great. Is it completely different than High Sierra? No, not at all. Uh, dark mode is probably much the, the biggest thing that I've noticed. Uh, the three little menus at the bottom dock, also a great, great touch. But is it crazy? Is it crazy different? No, this is more of a facelift, kind of lets it kind of be more optimized and user friendly and, and bring in a lot of feature of kind of iOS feel to the Mac. It's just, it's an awesome, awesome update. I'm looking forward to the masses getting it and third party developers getting more and more stuff going on with it. Anyways, I'm excited to see what's next with this one. Anyways, hope you liked that video. If you did, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. And for additional brownie points, please follow me on all my social media. Links, of course, can be found down in the description. But for now, thank you, and I will see you on the next one.